All right, guys, what's going on? It's Kevin with Freedom Coins here, and I have a two box half dollar hunt. Now, the last couple half dollar hunts you have seen me with, Steven has been here, but today I'm flying solo, so I got these, I got these two boxes opened up in the truck. Sorry, guys, I'm super impatient, and I just wanted to get these babies open. After looking at them, I didn't see anything crazy. You guys might be seeing this one right here. Um, but that is just like a nasty 90 something, 99 or something like that. So that's that's nothing to write home about. This one right here, you can kind of see that's gonna be that's gonna be a short roll. So so far, we're already down 50 cents. That might even be down a dollar. So guys, that's not good. But I do see this one down here. This one kind of gives me some hope that that's silver. Um, if I put that next to, let's say, another one right here like this, it definitely looks silver to me. Um, so we're going to save this box with that potential ender. We'll save that one for a second. Um, we'll open this one, but again, they're both from the same bank at the same time. So if there's silver in here, there should be silver in here and vice versa. So without further ado, you're done hearing me talk. Let's get into this one and I'll bring you in with any NIFCs, any silver, foreign, anything cool. I'll make sure to let you guys know about it. Okay, flipping through, we have our first find on the box. It is gonna be a 2007P NIFC. All right, we're most of the way through this box. We still only have our one NIFC, but here is that short roll. And after I got to counting, there is only 19 there's sorry there's only nine dollars in there so we ended up being a dollar short i've had short rolls but never a full dollar short well let's see if we can make up for it with some silver but again we're almost done with this box and then we'll hop on into this one we're almost done with the box and we finally came across another nifc it's going to be a 2017 D and I have C, and we will set that right up here, right next to our other one. Okay guys, we have two rolls left in this box, but I started opening this one right here, and it looks like we are definitely gonna have silver. Right there, as you can see that, that looks like silver. So let's get this all the way open, there we go. We can see that silver line a lot better. But, pull it up, lay these out, and see what year it is. Here's the back side of it, and the front is going to be a 1967. So hey, this box only had our two NIFCs, but now we are going to add one 40 percenter to this box. I got to say, it heated up, but not at the right time. We'll set this down right up next to our NIFCs, open these last two rolls, and hope for some more. Okay, just finished up that first box. Luckily, we had our late silver, so that was really nice. Now it is time to get into our second box. Now, it does have that potential ender down here, but again, the more I look at it, I'm not so sure about it, but we'll open these rolls and hopefully we find some more silver. Okay guys, I've told you in the past, I am extremely, extremely impatient. So we will open that roll first that we think is a potential ender. Again, uh, the more I look at it, I'm not so sure. But let's find out. This one right here. And it's gonna be, oops, sorry, a 1968D. Okay, so it was an ender, and that is good news. It's at the end of the box, so maybe the rest of the box will be full of silver. But guys, our first roll of this second box is a 1968 as an ender. Set it over here and just keep on hunting. All right, guys, we have opened seven rolls on the top there and then that one roll on the bottom and now the reason i bring you in is because we have ourselves another silver now the last roll ended up getting me this 2008p uh, i didn't bring you in because it's just an nifc but we'll add that over to the side here with our nifcs and here is the next roll that i am working on as you can see right here on the end that's going to be silver Nothing else on this side. We'll set these down and let's pull this one out. There's the back for you. And the front is a 1967. 
So we ended up getting another silver out of this box. So, so far we have two silvers in this box and we had the one silver out of the last box, which was also an NI 1967. I got NIFCs on my mind right now. Okay, so we have three NIFCs and three silvers in about eight rolls of the box. This could be a good one, so stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button, hit, give me a thumbs up, and let's find some more silver. Okay guys, we're on the very next roll, and I always make sure to tell you guys, always look at every one of your coins. If you look at this roll right here, nothing stands out. Now, some of you guys might know what I'm talking about, but nothing really stands out as anything that would be silver. But when you set this down and I started going through them, that very next one was a 1969. Now, when you look at the edge, yeah, you can definitely see it now, but when that was in the middle of a couple coins, it doesn't stand out like a normal 40%er. Um, you can see it, but it almost looks like it had a clad line, like more of a copperish clad line. Like right there, you can't really tell. So make sure, make sure you always check the dates on every single one of your coins. Don't just edge hunt for silver or you might miss one. It works sometimes, but you can also miss one. All right, four silvers, let's get back to the hunt. All right, well, unfortunately, I didn't have anything else to update you guys on. We ran out of rolls and ran out of silver. In that first box, we had these three NIFCs, and then, I, again, I didn't update you guys, but I did find these three NIFCs, a 2013D, 2009P, as well as a 2005P, but... A couple more NIFCs to add to our finds. I have a couple of Kennedy books that I put NIFCs in just to kind of save them. They're not really worth much, but I like to hold on to them. Now, after our two boxes, we did end up having four silvers. So, a 67, a 69, this crusty looking 68, and then another 67. So four silvers in two boxes, I'll take that any day of the week. Again, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and go ahead and select another one from the channel list over here. Might as well keep on watching Silver Finds. But anyway, in the meantime, as always, stay free, stay tuned. I'll see you guys on the next one.